The gentlewoman reserves, the gentleman from Colorado is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I yield two minutes to the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Doggett. The gentleman is recognized. I support this bill's relief for Mary and Austin, whose grandson, like so many others, will be able to get some relief, paying up to $300 per month for insulin. Now they would pay $35 per month. But five and a half million Texans and 28 million Americans are uninsured. This bill offers them no help whatsoever. In our upside down healthcare system, those who have the least continually get asked to pay the most for essential pharmaceuticals. 68% of those without health insurance are forced to pay full monopoly prices for their essential in insulin. They're being denied any relief today, despite the fact that I and 12 of my colleagues offered a simple amendment that could have provided that assistance. Nor does this b b bill represent the slightest progress toward preventing prescription price gouging. It is so true, as many have said, that many Americans are paying 10 times the price for insulin as do consumers in other countries. This bill does not do anything, however, to lower it to nine times. Indeed, this bill does not lower the price of insulin by one penny. It just shifts the burden of paying for the insulin off of the shoulders of insured insulin users and shifts it on to the rest of all of us who are paying insurance premiums and will pay higher premiums because of this and $11 billion more in cost to the taxpayers. I assume Big Pharma supports this bill because it's not facing any additional duty to lower its prices for this life-saving product. Someday, someday this Congress will break free of the shackles of Big Pharma, which fills these halls with more lobbyists than there are members of Congress. Someday we will provide genuine relief to all Americans burdened by soaring drug prices but that day, sadly, is not today. I yield back. Okay. I reserve.